Show. And it's another new hour of insensitivity training for a politically correct world. Good morning, everybody. Thursday morning. It's August the 3rd, 2023. I'm Woody. Uh, there's an empty chair to my right where Ravy <laughs> normally sits. She's got to have some kind. She's been she's getting up all morning. Something. Yeah. She's getting cranky. up and running somewhere. And she's cranky. She's yeah. cranky and poopy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nuclear yeah. diarrhea. Is that what we haven't asked. Her, I don't know. But don't we're know. assuming because everything... She probably had too much water or something. <laughs> Everything <laughs> leads to diarrhea. I took a deep breath, yeah. and now I have to poop. Uh, anyway, there's Raby. Hey, guys. Hey, hey Raby. here. Uh, Greg Gorey, good morning. Good morning, Woody. There's Menace. What's up, Woody? And Seabass. We out here. There's Sammy. Good morning. Bort and Caroline are here. Morgan's here. Vaughn's here. And then uh, you on the phones at 877-44-WOODY. 877-44-WOODY. Hit us up with a text over to 22987. Uh, coming up this hour, it is the Glory Hole Challenge. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice. I felt uh, ill for like a month after the last time we did it. Yeah, I think um, I threw out my back. And- just to catch everybody up. Previously on the Glory Hole Challenge. <laughs> no, 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 we have found and captured one. Well, there were uh, two um, cockroaches that got fed through the glory hole, and uh, they got loose. One of them, one of them, never to be found again. Oh, yeah, one of them to never be found again. Yeah, yeah. It reminds me. Probably had babies. Well, that's the thing, Greg. Is I know you've been very sad ever since we lost one of our uh, Dugans. Well, yeah, Dukes. I, I Rochi. Dukes. Dukes. The last glory hole challenge. Yeah. 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 I miss Rochi. Little Dugs. Well, I knew you guys have been sad. Mm-hmm. So I got. What? <laughs> what? What? Replacements. <gasps> no way! Oh, Sweet. God. Okay. <laughs> and to, be, to ensure oh, that they can no. roam, uh-huh. they can roam free in the studio. Yeah. But not get lost like the one Dugan did. Yeah. Like you put a little hamster ball. A hamster in? ball. Yeah, I hamster got a ball. Exactly. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Are you serious? We're not starting this. Oh yeah, it's not a start. Oh. We've been we've been doing this, oh. Greg. I thought you got I thought you got leashes for them or something. <laughs> That'd be cool. No, little I got little harnesses. harnesses. What? Oh, yeah. Little harnesses. Oh, yeah, right. But their antenna. Oh, oh god. Mind. Oh god. Oh. I, I'm, oh, I'm gonna. But Greg, they can't they can't touch you. They're they in a hamster. Yeah, I know, but poop? just seeing them. Yeah, there's a lot of poop in there. Oh, oh my god. god. Get it away. There's a lot. Of, oh, so I got two little Dugans. What's their names? Oh, well, that, that, up to you guys to name them. Oh, yeah. Greg, you how many the, are there? Two. 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 Okay. Yeah, they poop a lot. All right. Well, <laughs> uh, we'll open it up to the listeners on the text. Uh, come up with some good names for our little studio Dugans. How about? <laughs> like how like kindergarten classes have. Uh, exactly. How about pooper yeah. and paper? Yeah. <laughs> Poopies. Poopies. I'll roll over to Greg. Greg no, yes. leave it right there. Menace, come on, don't do this to me, they can't, please. They can't I've, possibly. Greg, I just you. healed from the last time I when I a... wrenched my neck, threw out my <laughs> my shoulder. All right, come about we name down, one of them Cock and the other one Papa, like Cockroach, yeah. Papa Roach. Okay. Oh, hey, there you go. I, that's pretty. Hey, that's cock. Pretty good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah there's big cock. Ones Which too. one's Cock? Which one's Papa? <laughs> Hey, don't you want to uh, pet him? No, I'm good. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, cockroach, cock, papa roach. Yeah, yeah. cock and papa. Well, I think we need to clean the ball. Yeah. Yeah, well, what I did it's is they... full of feces. So they, yeah, that's what roaches in care about. Poop. I mean, this is unsanitary. <laughs> Cleanliness. <laughs> so they come in like a little... Uh, Ravi's missing all the fun. 16 ounce, feet, you know, takeout container. Uh-huh. I just dumped the whole... Because I didn't want to get loose. So I took them over to the sink, dumped them in the yeah. little hamster ball, <laughs> and I dumped all the poop in there with them. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, but see, the, that's why I, I was afraid they would slip out of the hamster ball. But the the slits mm-hmm. on this thing are so narrow that not only can't they escape, oh, no. yeah. I don't neither think they can, can their poop. They oh, here's Ravy. That thing moved, Ravy. could they? Yeah. Ravy, we have we have some studio pets. New, it's cockroaches yeah. in a hamster ball. Yeah, it's yeah. full of poop though. Look there's, out! And oh, she a lot of... immediately picks it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Ravy's a badass. We're looking for uh, <laughs> we're looking for names, and so far we have a suggestion mm-hmm. of one would be named Cock, and the other one would be named Papa Cockroach Papa Roach. I said poopies because there's so much caca in that ball already. Yeah, speaking of caca, what's going on with you? I don't know. I <laughs> vomited three times. Oh, oh, oh. oh, so it's not poopy? Oh. You're resetting? <laughs> it's not resetting. I don't know what it is. Food Jeez. poisoning? I don't know. I got here and uh, sat down, and all of a sudden, I'm just overcome. I'm sweating like crazy. <laughs> what did, so what did, you, uh, what did you eat? Just some chicken. 
Really? Mm. Uh, was it that Costco chicken? And because no. that's the instant. Like oh, the, cool. That's what's coming. <laughs> that's what's coming up. And uh, not, not the Costco rotisserie, the Costco chicken salad. Right, the Costco chicken, chicken salad. salad. Oil, oil <laughs> salad. The, yeah, Woody, yeah, oil like a, garbage. One of Woody's fantastic food reviews uh, that he's I love it. famous for. Yeah, I love it. That and the circus peanuts. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and I saw uh, candy corns now out. Oh, sweet. Yep, North. it's officially candy corn season. <laughs> no, no, it's not it's summer. <laughs> no, it's out on the shelves. Oh, boy. Yep, out on the shelves. Mm. Anyway, is it coming out both ends? Yeah. Nice. Oh wow. wow. Oh, geez. Geez. That's maybe some oh. little food poisoning. I don't know. Lucky. You don't I... have the chills, just. Oh, the I definitely. I got sweats and chills. Oh no. I'm sweating um, and chilling. All right. Well, it's definitely no. some kind of food thing. Ooh. Which is not, not a surprise yeah. for Rafe. Could be. You know, the or, food, who knows? Yeah, it could be. <laughs> it could yeah. be contagious. I yeah. could just I could, uh-huh. have just poisoned all of you this yeah, morning. Could. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. This morning. Gonorrhea. Oh, or we'll keep gonorrhea. It classy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> probably raging gonorrhea. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> According to the official records folks over at Guinness, there's a new record for world's loudest burp by a woman. Whoa. A new record? Excellent. Her name is uh, Kimberly Winter. She's from Virginia, and she belted out a, uh, what's the, on the decibels? 107.3 decibels. It's good. 107.3. So that's the, uh, they say that's about as lo- uh, loud as a lawnmower or a motorcycle. Yeah. Holy crap. Here's how that sounded. <laughs> Wow. All right. Oh, the, that doesn't even sound human. Yeah. Put a lot behind that. The previous record was uh, held by a woman in Italy. Oh. That stood for 14 years. Really? Damn. The record for loudest burp by a man, 112.7 decibels. And according to the article, these records don't fall off, and the previous record for dudes stood for more than 10 years. So, oh, damn. Uh, Kim says she's always known that she was a loud burper. She uh, used to get in trouble for it as a kid. And uh, Guinness posted a video of her breaking the record, and she did it live on the radio with uh, our friends Elliot in the Morning in Washington, D.C. Oh, was really? that fun? On uh, D.C. 101, yeah, because Guinness had the video and stuff, and I, I saw the video and said, you know, I saw all of his uh, logos and stuff. And, <laughs> yeah. You're like, so, I know that person. Yeah. Jeez. Good for him. Yeah, so... Uh, how, how pissed is that woman in Italy? Right, like, you took I'm, my record. Uh, this is so upset. <laughs> <laughs> you bitch. Uh, Who's oh. more upset, that woman or Ravi that she's pregnant now? Oh, oh yeah. that's there's it's a, morning oh. sickness. There, yeah. There's a lot of people on the text saying Ravi might be pregnant. Yeah, why, why would you be? Congrats to the cute. mom to be. Yeah. Oh yeah. boy. Thank well, you. This, is, this is one lucky kid. You better uh, call Nick Cannon and tell him he's having right. another kid. That's right. <laughs> the Woody Show. If your dental plan is a piece of string tied to the exhaust pipe of an ATV. I regret to inform you that that is in fact redneck news. And today's redneck news is from Maricopa, Arizona, where the police got a call from the local Circle K about a guy who stole beer, not just once. According to the report, the guy, a 53-year-old dude who they just have listed here as Stanford M, had been uh, there a few days earlier as well, and he pulled the same shenanigans. And they have it all on video. Uh, you see Stanford double fisting 12 packs of beer and then walking right out the front door without paying. Hell yeah. Well, it's so, legal now, right? Yeah, since that worked out so well, he pushed his luck and did it again, swiping two more 12 packs and walking out. To the store, they called the cops. They ended up finding Stanford lying on the ground in a storm canal <laughs> alongside the stolen beer. And when he saw the officers, he tried to make a run for it, but it was too late. He was arrested. So in addition to the theft and evading charges, they also found out that he had already had a warrant out on him no. on a probation violation. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Stanford. Keeping it classy. They're in Maricopa, Arizona. Stanford M., a repeat offender who was shoplifting beer and hiding out in a storm canal <laughs> while he was already on probation. Storm canal is a great place to take a nap. I love sure. It. Yeah. <laughs> Good place. A lot of space. And there is today's Redneck News! <laughs> All right, so we're going to take the break, and then we're going to come back and play the glory hole challenge. I'll explain how it all works. Basically, we uh, we made our own version of a glory hole for the studio, and uh, some person's going to be on the receiving end of that glory hole, and items will be fed through it, and they have to try to guess what the items are, which we will tell you going into the game. Right. Now, Greg, here's the good news. Yeah. Roaches won't be on the menu because they're already here in the studio. Cool. What yeah, else? Right. Do you studio have diggers. praying mantises <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah. centipedes. Maybe a Moth. butterfly. Or something. Oh yeah. God. Yeah. Oh. Keep a butterfly in like a bird cage or something. Yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. I wonder that's if I did a that. Idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in a bird cage. Yeah. So we'll tell you what the items are, and then the person uh, who is uh, guessing 
they can only use their face or their mouth mm. to try to figure out what it is. They're blindfolded and everything else. Yeah. So that's next. Glory Hole Challenge.